So I'll welcome the YouTubers. Uh, this is Wednesday. Thanks for watching today's workout. Hopefully you're also participating in today's workout. But if you just watch it, that's cool too. Uh, we will need uh, a dumbbell or kettlebell or something weighted that you can press overhead. Uh, we may want something heavier later on, but we'll start with that something we can press overhead with one hand. I will share the playlist with you right now. I think it's a good one. Is that. Um, so to get warmed up this morning, we're going to do five minutes of work, uh, three different elements. So stand on up and we'll go through the three elements. The first one is an inch worm press up. So we'll start standing up nice and tall and we will inch forward till we get hands on the floor. Walk our hands out and lower ourselves down to the floor. And I disappeared behind the clock. Uh, from here, you can either press back up in a plank or you can press back up, uh, knees in the floor, and then return to a plank. And then we'll walk our knees back in, stand up nice and tall, and then we'll do it all over again. So we're gonna do five reps of that. Then, five scat push-ups. So we'll uh, find that plank position. We're keeping our elbows nice and straight. We're going to drop our chest down to the floor and then press back up. It's a little movement. Um, but effective. So we're going to do five of those. And then we're going to do five sprawls. So part of a burpee. So we'll plant our hands on the floor, kick our feet out behind us, and back in. So we're gonna do five of the inchworm press-ups, five scat push-ups, five sprawls, just rotating through that for five minutes. Cool? We're gonna get started in 10 seconds. Good morning, Fiona. And three, two, one, inchworms. This is going to be a long five minutes. You're doing great. I think it just rained here for a hot second. Weird.
Two minutes left. seconds. seconds press on one side and 30 seconds of press on the other side minute two we're going to do 30 seconds of bent over row so we'll find a nice tall standing position we'll unlock our knees hinge forward and then we'll row 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. In minute three, it's back to that tall kneeling press. Minute four, bent over row, and so on like that for 12 total minutes. Cool? We're gonna keep moving. Any questions before we get rolling with that? All right, we're gonna start with tall kneeling press in 10 seconds. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Three, two, one, go. Switch. Bent over row coming up in three, two. One, 
Bent over row. Switch sides in three, two, one, switch sides. Tall kneeling press in three, two, one. Here we go. Switching sides, go! Switch sides. Five seconds. And back to tall kneeling press. Switch sides. Three, two, one. Bent over. And switching sides. Two, one, tall kneeling press. 
yes. Switching sides, go. Switching sides, go. Tall meal and press. Oh, it just doesn't stop. Switching sides in three, two. Switching sides in five seconds. Three, two, one. Kneeling press in three, two, one. Last one here. Switching sides. Five seconds to bent over rows. Three, two, one. 
bent over rows. Two, one, switch sides. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, all right. Woo. Grab yourselves a drink before we move on to the next thing. Hot coffee is not terribly thirst quenching. Go figure. All right, I'm gonna share a couple things the workout into the chat. So, for the workout today, we're going to do five two minute AMRAPs. We're gonna rest a minute between each AMRAP. So each two minute section starts with what we're calling the virtual complex. Uh, so you're gonna do two reps of this virtual complex and then you'll fill the remaining time with the different movements that are listed there in the chat. So let's talk about the virtual complex first. So every time we do three, two, one, go, you're gonna do two rounds of five bent over rows per side. I think you're familiar with those at this point. So you're gonna do five on one side, five on the other. Then 10 push-ups. Those could be push-ups with your hands on the floor, your hands on a box, you're on the couch, the kitchen counter. Um, whatever you need to put your hands on to make sure you maintain a nice high plank while you do your push-ups all the way down and all the way back up. Modification of last resort for push-ups is to put your knees on the floor, but try to maintain that plank shape from your knees up. So we're not doing our push-ups with our butt way up in the air. We got that plank shape. 10 push-ups. And we come back up to standing for 15 air squats. Cool. So we do that twice through, however much time that takes you. And then you fill the rest of that two minutes uh, with a different movement. So for round one, it's the push press. So I take my weight, got it up here in the front rack. I'm gonna dip my knees and drive up hard to unweight the weight uh, and then finish out pressing it overhead. So I'm going to dip, drive, and press overhead. So you're just going to fill the rest of the time with those, switching sides as you need. Cool? Round two, same thing. Two rounds of that virtual complex. And then fill the rest of the time with squat cleans. So I've got a dumbbell, so my dumbbell is going to start on the floor. My back is up nice and tall. I'm going to clean it up and do a full squat. Again, switching sides as you need. Round three is goblet squats. So whatever you've got, dumbbell, kettlebell, a book, you're going to hold it up nice and tight underneath your chin. So from the side, you can tell my weight is in as close to my body as I can get. 
we're squatting with our weight up by our face. Round three, oh, excuse me, round four, virtual complex again, then hang power cleans. So I start up standing tall with my weight, to get into the hang, I'm gonna hinge forward and then come back out. So it's quick. I'm hinging forward to build up tension in my hamstrings. And I'm catching, catching that clean with a little bit of bend in my knees. Then round five is reverse lunges. So you can hang on to your weight in that goblet position. Uh oh. Uh oh. We lost Jeff. Got struck by lightning. <laughs> Mid goblet squat. Mid goblet <laughs> squat. I'm serious. I'm surprised this doesn't happen more often. I know. It's like only the second time, and I've been. Doing it like three times a week for four months. <laughs> we do count on it. We do take this for granted. That's for sure. That it usually does work. Yeah. The internet does. Well, just guys, we were working the whole time. Yeah. Oh, hey, Jeff, we already finished. <laughs> Jeff, we already finished. We're done. We're done. We're all done. The computer decided it needed to reboot. Uh, so I'm glad you're done. Uh, so the last element uh, was reverse lunges. So you can hold your weight in that goblet position. You can hold it at the front rack, or you can set your weight on the floor and leave it there. So we'll reverse lunge, we're gonna step back and then back up, feet together. Sometimes those reverse lunges feel a little bit better on people's knees, so forward lunges. Cool, so everybody remember, we're doing five two minute AMRAPs. We're gonna rest one minute between each one and I will let you know in that minute what the next thing is. So you don't have to remember it all. Uh, hopefully it's still in the chat. Sure is That's all right. We'll make it without it. All right. It's in, my, it's in yours? It, it might just not be in yours because you left and came back. I got it. Thankfully. <laughs> cool. Can you copy and paste it into the chat for everybody? Awesome. All right, so we're gonna get started with this first two minute AMRAP. Two rounds of that virtual complex, five bent over rows, 10 push ups, 15 air squats, starting in 10. Five seconds. Three, two, one, here we go.
We got 15 seconds left. And time. <laughs> So we got a minute rest here. If you make it through the virtual complex, squat cleans are the next thing. Thirty seconds of rest. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Here we go. One minute. Five, three, two, one, rest. I haven't made it through two reps of the virtual complex yet. So are we supposed to be doing two or one? Two. One is fine though. That's said one in the chat. That's just telling you what one rep is. I see, I see, I see, I see. One rep is fine. I'm not the boss I'm only doing. I'm only doing one rep so that I can do the other stuff. For fun. So up next is goblet squat. In 10 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go.
30 seconds, y'all, you got this. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Hang tired, please. This is the next thing. Thirty seconds till more virtual complex than hang power paints. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. seconds y'all three two one rest minute of rest here last round coming up reverse lunges if you get there off to the side, everybody. Hi. <laughs> 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Last round in five, three, two, one, go.
30 seconds. Nice work, buddies. Uh, while you're catching your breath, if you want today's recommended mobility, it is Perch Eagle. So you're gonna take one elbow, lay it on top of the other. Maybe your palms can meet. Come on down to your perch. And then raise your elbows up to the ceiling. And when you feel like switching, please switch. If you watched on YouTube, thanks for watching. This was Wednesday. I got to go so Hannah can get the next class.